Yeah, so fatigue, it, it's very much at the front of our minds in terms of how we manage patients, or what we ask patients, and very difficult in terms of thinking about what we can do about it. Well, we've learned quite a lot about that in recent times um, in the UK and across the patient community. We've collaborated in a so-called fatigue project with the Mayo Clinic and have um, increased our understanding, but as always pointed us in new directions. So I think first and foremost, not all fatigue relates to disease. Some fatigue might relate to um, side effects of therapies, for example, even just simple uh, phlebotomy for polycythemia causes iron deficiency, can cause fatigue, also can cause restless leg syndrome, which means people don't sleep so well. Um, some therapies cause depression, I'm thinking particularly about interferon, and um, even aside from a therapy-induced depression, what was very clear from the fatigue project was that mood disorder underlies, and it's probably a vicious circle with regard to fatigue. And so this is something we need to learn to assess for and be able to help our patients with. So I think a multifaceted approach is necessary, first of all, to actually recognise that it's there, to gauge the severity of it, to th consider potentially underlying contributing factors. I mentioned iron deficiency. A lot of our drugs can cause fatigue. I mentioned low mood. But then there are other factors as well that we are all aware of. If we exercise regularly, we might feel, not feel like doing exercise, but we feel like we have more energy afterwards. So I think um, there's a lot of interest in, for example, the use of activity trackers, yoga, for example. I'm very much aware of the Mayo Clinic's interest in that area and trying to recapitulate that in my own practice. Healthy diet and um, good sleep habits are all important and something that are really very challenged in modern life and not surprisingly also challenged for our patients. And to a certain extent, there may be an element of physician heal thyself. So I, I think our hospital, particularly at the moment, is focusing on health for the workforce and increase, it sounds a bit ridiculous, that the medical community may not be so aware of, of health, but you know, having good rest periods, exercise, healthy diet, and then also being able to apply that when we're talking to our patients.